Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim. In today's video, I'm going to talk about NEO stock. Some of you might have seen my previous video about NEO stock, but today NEO has gone up more than 19% and after hours, it went up more than 24%. Currently, it's hovering around 1850 per share. In today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, why it has gone up so much. And by the end of the year, in my personal opinion, it could easily reach $30 per share. Those of you who are new, please remember to subscribe as I make weekly video about personal finance, investment tips, and content creation. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the video. So one of the main reason why NEO stock has gone up so much today, it is because UBS analyst Paul Gong, I don't know who gave this guy the power, but he raised the NEO price target from $1 to $16 and that's a 1500% in target price increase man uh, he was hanging out with the bear but now he's almost turning bullish he went from a sell to a hole again this is a special case he said that because of the fundamental of uh, NEO has changed they have enough capital raised now and the demand in EV in China has uh, gone back up in that same article, Gong also mentioned his uh, coverage on Lee Auto, which is an extended uh, range EV, and they just went, went IPO recently. For that stock, he changed his rating to a buy with a target of $19.50 per share. And currently, Lee, Lee Auto also went up roughly about 6%, and uh, after hours, it went up another 2 so roughly about 8% by the end of the day on Tuesday, uh, August 25th. And this pretty much explained that there is a huge demand and the importance of the EV sector in China. I believe the second reason why NEO stock has gone up so much is due to the fact that NEO on August 20th just launched their NEO battery as a service program where people can buy their vehicle alone and lease their battery separately. This way, NEO was able to lower the threshold for their customer to buy their uh, EV by a whopping 70,000 yuan or roughly about 10,100 US dollars. And also this will offer their customer flexibility and as battery technology improve because the battery now is separate their customer can upgrade their battery for a longer range if they want to and in the future let's say their customer doesn't want their car anymore and they want to upgrade to a newer model they can improve their resale value of their old neo vehicle because now the battery is separate from the vehicle they're able to increase their resale value of their car because think about it if that battery is attached to the car just like your phone let's just say for example an iphone imagine you use it for a year or two the battery capacity is not going to be the same as when you first got it brand new it could decrease to let's say 80 percent and think about it who wants a degraded battery because one of the most expensive part of an ev is their battery with uh, this battery swap, they were able to complete more than 800,000 swaps uh, in their battery station. And this is up from 500,000. The last time I remember uh, when I made the video, that was about a month ago. Uh, that's a pretty great jump. And by the end of the year, I'm sure they could probably cross over a million swap. And with this battery as a service program launches, I believe NEO in the future will be able to focus solely on improving their technology and not have to worry about the battery and they can improve on the autopilot feature as well. Up next is why I believe NEO could reach $30 per share by the end of the year. As you know, China has done pretty well with the Rona Rona situation. In America, it's pretty bad. Uh, as most of you know, I'm here in the Bay Area, it's pretty bad in California. But in China, they were able to contain it pretty well. And as the year progresses in the next two to three months from now, uh, as you know, we're already approaching the end of 2020. Thank God. I hope nothing else happened. But best case scenario, NEO will able to deliver more and more of their vehicle 
as my previous video, one of the main reasons why NEO stock has gone up is due to their record shattering vehicle delivery. So in the next three months or the next in the next quarter, I'm pretty sure that NEO will be able to improve on their vehicle deliveries as more and more people will want to get out and travel and they will be traveling in style. As you know, China is coming up in the EV and they have one of the biggest population. On top of that, NEO is going global and the first market that NEO will enter is European market and soon after, most likely the US market, which I am so excited about and hopefully I can test out their car. And that concludes my video. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you made it this far, go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to my channel uh, for more and uh, stay safe and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.